Clydesdale horses, you might picture the ones with Budweiser. They're known for their unique size and also their behavior. But now they're listed as threatened. Uh, there are fewer than 5,000 Clydesdales now in the world. Roman Campus spoke with the Sedgwick County Zoo and also a local breeder about how they're protecting the famous horse. The Sedgwick County Zoo is welcoming a new face to its barnyard animals. Tartan is about eight months old and he was probably going to weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Coming from a local breeder, zookeeper Kaylee Toscano says Tartan is already one of the biggest horses the zoo has cared for. He's figuring out when he gets fed and who is the good ones to hang out with when he goes to the pasture. But the Clydesdale population is facing an issue. According to the Livestock Conservancy, Clydesdales are listed as threatened, with fewer than 5,000 horses registered. We have a lot of different, like I said, different rankings and critical to threatened, and so being able to have all of those different levels and options to show and be able to tell the story, um, I think that's what we really like stand for and like to push for sure. <laughs> Again, here he is eating though, I mean. There are farms across the U.S. that are keeping Clydesdales from becoming endangered. In fact, one of them just happens to be right here in Goddard, Kansas. I love the breed and that's really why we're doing it. Owner of the Cowskin Creek Clydesdales, Janet Schwindeman, says her family has been breeding Clydesdales since 2009 and just recently gave tartan to the zoo. That's kind of a cool thing to say that you're helping to prevent the endangered because it would be sad if they were not around. Keeping Clydesdales just around the corner for people to see. Be surprised how many people that go, they go, oh, well, my dad did this and my dad did that with a horse. And so those things are still priceless for people to get to see. That's kind of why we do it and why it, for as long as we can do it, we'll do it. Roman Campa, 12 News.